Hey, what's up you guys? Elise here. This is my second video now um, that I'm filming. I wanted to come on here because I know a lot of you guys were interested in seeing what I got from Louis Vuitton in my first vlog. So, I brought you guys here today so that I could show you. Um, yeah, so this will be, technically it'll be an unboxing, although a lady in Grand Lux, if you remember in my vlog, I went to Grand Lux um, during that vlog, a lady asked me to open up my bag like in the restaurant. I guess she had never seen one before in person um, and she wanted to see it. So unfortunately, I technically unboxed it in Grand Lux. It's just the, nice, the niceness of me. Like I just could not say no. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this um, bag for you guys so you guys can see what I got. So if you're interested, just keep on watching you what it looks like so yeah here's my Louis Vuitton bag okay and inside is the actual box my bag in it this is so like, so exciting like I worked let me tell you guys a little backstory about this so I've been wanting this bag for a long time probably since I would say my senior year of college and I'm now two years over two years out of college out of undergrad um, so I've been wearing this bag for a while, but this bag is like $1,300 and that's before taxes and y'all know Chicago taxes are high. Um, so I told myself that, you know, I'm going to get the bag like when I'm ready, like when I feel like I've saved up enough money to get the bag, I'll go ahead and get it. And originally I was going to wait, like I was going to wait because I wanted to treat myself for it. Like I wanted to have, I wouldn't say that I didn't earn it, but I did want to wait for something monumental before I actually like bought the bag. Um, I wanted to wait till either like get a new job or graduate from my master's program, but I just could not stop thinking about the bag within the last like I'd say month or so, and I was just like, just go get it. Like nothing, literally nothing is stopping you from going to get the bag. So go get the bag if that's what you want, if that's what you're interested in. Like you got the bread, just go get it. So in that vlog, you guys saw that I went to go get the bag, and it was just so exciting for me. So I am going to be unboxing my baby here on my YouTube channel for you guys to see what I got. For some of you guys, this may not be exciting. For others, you may not agree with luxury, with the purchasing of luxury bags. And if that's not something you agree with, I would not be offended at all if you put that up this video. But I do know that there are some who are interested in watching and maybe some who are interested in getting this bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox it for you and you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. So yeah, so so here's the box that the bag comes in. They gave me a size smaller than the bag, than the box that I was originally supposed to get, which kind of upsets me because my bag is kind of stuffed in here, which I don't like. Like right here, you can kind of see like it peeking out side of the side of the bag because this box is just not the correct size, but whatever. So when you open the box, you see the dust bag. And inside the dust bag is the actual bag. So let's take this out. That bag in this. By the way, my camera just cut off, but I'm definitely keeping the bags. It's just, shoot, I paid so much money, I'm keeping everything. So here's the dust bag that the bag comes in. I'm sure some of you guys already know what I got. Like, I'm probably so basic for this, but whatever. whatever. So. Here's a review. Opening the bag. Oh, we're getting closer. Here is the bag that I got. I got a Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the size MM. Um, this is the Damier Ebin. I think that's how you say it. That's, this is the Damier Ebin print um, with the rose ballerine interior so that's kind of what it looks like on the inside um let me zoom you guys down a little bit because you're definitely more interested in the bag than me so yeah so this is the bag that i got from louis vuitton um it says louis vuitton on some of the little squares um on the front of the bag and then it says louis vuitton on some of the squares in the back of the bag as well and then on like i said on the inside it's pink which is like one of my favorite colors now and it also comes with um, the wristlet, which is actually detachable. So you can detach this from the bag and kind of wear it as a clutch. Let me do that for you guys. 
So yeah, you just unhook it from the bag and then you hook this part onto here and then you can just carry it around like as a clutch. Very low maintenance. Um, sometimes you're not gonna probably wanna take this extremely large tote bag into the store. So you can just go ahead and grab this out and walk into a store. Um, so then also on the ends, it's a huge, huge like hole. Like basically it's a hole, which it makes sense for them to call it a never full because it is literally never ever full. Um, I have put things into this bag just to see like how much stuff it could carry and it could literally carry so much stuff. So on the inside of the bag is also this flap right here um, and it has a zipper and inside the zipper like this space is pretty huge so you could fit like a few things in there just stuff that you would want to kind of lock away because this bag does not have um, a zipper so the only thing that you can do is clip on right here you can clip this closed and close it like that yeah so that nobody can get inside your bag but honestly it not having a zipper doesn't bother me at all because I hardly ever use zippers on bags. I know people are probably like, well, aren't you afraid that your stuff is gonna fall out? But I'm just kinda like, nah. Um, so yeah, so this is the bag. Um, there's not you know anything crazy to it. Um, on the sides right here, you can cinch the bag in. Let me kinda show you that. There's nothing in it, so it would look a little bit weird. Um, but, yeah, there's nothing in it. I'll probably have to show you guys that in another video. But you can cinch, cinch the sides in with this little string and it'll change the shape of the bag. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys wanna see a what's in my bag video. I don't really plan on using this until it gets a little bit cooler outside because this is gonna be my primary fall bag and I'm gonna use it a lot for school as well. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys just a taste of what it looked like. Um, once again, this is the MM size, which I thought was perfect for me. I wanted the ballerine interior, so I knew that if I um, got the, like if I got the GM, which was really large, I knew that I would have to get the red interior, and I really didn't want that. To me, it looks just a little bit outdated, and I feel like everybody has that bag. Granted, a lot of people have Neverfulls. They, they all pretty much look the same unless you get the um, actual logo print. But I just wanted the one with the pink interior because I felt like that really screamed Elise. And I was just really excited about that. So let me um, go ahead and show you guys like the fact that I can literally fit my laptop in here and still have so much space. So I'll be back in one day. Okay, so I'm back. I am literally sweating because it is so hot in front of this window, but I really need to take advantage of this daylight. So I have my um, MacBook um, 13 inch, MacBook Air 13 inch. And I was gonna show you guys kind of what that looked like on the inside of the bag, just so that you could get a feel for the size of it. So if I stick this in here, like literally just by itself with no case or anything, you can literally see that that barely takes up any space. Like, barely takes up any space. So I also brought out my makeup bag um, to kind of show you guys that I can fit so much stuff in here. Um, literally, like it does not make any sense. Still nowhere near full um and what i like about this bag also is that apparently these uh these handles these straps can carry up to 100 pounds i can't ever see myself putting 100 pounds worth of stuff in here but it is nice to know that this bad boy will carry that much stuff in it so um i wanted to show you guys that and then finally i wanted to show you guys one last thing before i end the video I wanted to show you this organizer, this purse organizer that I bought from Amazon. I think I got it for about, I think I got it for about $23. Um, I can link it in the description box below if any of you guys are interested in buying it. But I basically got this to go inside the bag because I knew that it was a deep and empty hole. And this also comes with a little clutch um, that you can place inside the bag. So I will show you guys what this looks like inside of my number four. Oh yeah, this is literally the perfect fit. This is perfect. So as you guys can see, it literally matches perfectly on the inside of the bag. I like the gold hardware on the organizer. I feel like that matches really well with the bag as well. And then it also has this um, cup like kind of like bottle holder which is really nice so i have my water bottle right here that i could just stick in there and just be on my merry way so so let me also show you guys what the bag looks like on me
So yeah, so that pretty much sums up my unboxing of my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. And if you guys have any questions or want to know just, you know, a little bit of logistics about the bag and my whole process with buying it, then please ask away in the description box, in the comments below. Um, also, I do want to mention that this bag was extremely pricey. It was being sold for, I think, $13.20. I think that was the online price. And then after taxes, I want to say that I paid nearly $1,500 for this bag. I want to say it was more so around like $14.00. 55 so a little bit over a hundred dollars in taxes for this bag getting it in Chicago I'm sure that you could get it for cheaper in a lot of other places I know that in Hawaii tax are a lot cheaper tax are a lot cheaper in Indiana which is close to Chicago but I just kind of felt like hey like I'm gonna be spending the money like I'm gonna be spending the money anyway so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video of my unboxing of my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. If you like this kind of content, please click that subscribe button below. Also comment and like this video and just let me know you guys' feedback on more videos that you wanna see, what you like to see from me, and what you're interested in. So once again, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave me some comments below. My name is Elise Lachey and I hope that you guys tune in again. Bye.